This is Sham with She Will Ride. In this episode, we will be traveling to the Sugarloaf Ski Resort in Maine to partake in the Blue Knights 50th anniversary. The Blue Knights is an international motorcycle club made up of retired and active law enforcement officers. It was founded in 1974 by Ed Gallant and Chuck Schumann. These boys in blue from Bangor, Maine started the club with just a handful of riders, which has grown to 18,800 members with 650 chapters in 29 different countries. Hundreds of riders from all over the world met up at the Sugarloaf Ski Resort in Maine, coming as far as Australia, Colombia, Canada, and the UK. We got to explore beautiful roads in Maine, we celebrated with nightly adult fun, and best yet, we made new lasting friendships. I hope you will join me as we make our way up to Maine to celebrate this amazing motorcycle club's birthday. Happy birthday, Blue Knights. Good morning, everybody. We are on our way to Maine to celebrate 50 years of the Blue Knights Motorcycle Club. So we just passed the border between New York and Vermont, and we are we got a long ways ahead of us, probably a good 12 hour day, but um, we're just heading north now on the outside of Bennington, Vermont, and then we're going to head up to uh, the Rutland area through Vermont and then start scooching over to New Hampshire and then into Maine. So yeah, stick around, come along for the beautiful ride through Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, and New York and uh, come see what it's all about. Got a week long journey happening here, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. So yeah, woo! Look at this view already, gorgeous. Ooh, look at this view. Route seven, nice. I have no idea where we are, but it's cute. A lot of these old colonial and Victorian houses are so pretty. We are now on Highway 100 in Vermont. We got another hour and seven minutes to go to lunch. It looks like we just missed the rain, which is a good thing, always. Um, The road's still wet from the rain, but it looks like we got here in good timing. It's a little chilly out, 63 degrees, but not not too bad. I'd take this over a scorcher any day. Yeah, so we're getting there. We're steadily getting there. Just making our way through all these states to get to Sugarloaf. It's a nice twisty road. It is on the top of the list to ride for a motorcycle here in Vermont goes a long ways. Then off of this is 107. It's even prettier if you ask me. Super pretty. This is such a pretty valley and the last time we came through here there was a devastating flood. This was running high. Lots of washouts on the road and now it's all pretty. Looks like it never even happened. Beautiful, beautiful road. 107 Vermont. Highly recommend it. Welcome to Bethel. Chartered in 1779. Girls, you'd be stinky. Oh my gosh, I'm like eating it. Who in the heck suggested Route 2? My gosh. It's definitely an off-roading experience for me. Yay! Taking the gold wings on a little off-road. All right. Oof, got through that catastrophe. Oh, look at the view. We got to be getting close to New Hampshire, eh? I think we're like on the very border of New Hampshire and Vermont. Oh my gosh, Google, where are you taking us? Oh my gosh, I feel so bad. I know, but Jerry. 
<laughs> I don't care that your bike looks like shit. I care about you guys not having ADV bikes riding on a dirt road. Good lord, it's the Goldwing crew. The go the Goldwingas. We are officially in New Hampshire! But we are all just about ready to get back on the road. Little potty break real quick. Little bag check. And we're off. Here we go. Oh, look at the hills ahead of us. It's getting hillier. Welcome to Maine. We just crossed the state border. So we rode through New York. Vermont, New Hampshire, and now Maine. Four states today. All day riding. Started at 7 o'clock this morning and it's now 5 o'clock at night. And we should be at our destination about an hour and a half from now, if not sooner. And uh, I was leading, but my phone died. The charger in my bike, for some reason, isn't working right. So, um, wait for my phone to charge back up. So I had to have someone else take over. Jerry took the lead. Thanks, Jerry. Top of the morning to you. Today is day two of our uh, trip to Maine to celebrate the Blue Knight's 50th anniversary. And um, we are going to ride out to, I believe, Bar Harbor today. Um, I don't know. Plans might change. We'll see. But uh, anyway, yeah, let's go for a ride in beautiful Maine and hopefully we have some beautiful weather today and all goes well. Let's roll! All right, we are somewhere in Maine <laughs> on our way to Bangor. And uh, oh, it looks like we're getting on 201A South and um, we're going to stop at Blue Knights International Headquarters. We're going to stop and check out all the updates they made and then uh, we're going to continue on to Bahaba. Right, we're going to go check the museum out. And then we're going to go to Bahaba and have some seafood. I can go for a big seafood lunch. Ooh, you gotta love Maine. So pretty. Oh, typical summer construction. There's Cavi Poo right there. Right there. Hi, Cavi Poo. All right. We are about an hour outside of Bangor. We're riding along this beautiful river. I'll have to look it up which one it is. But this is, if I remember right, is a very pretty road that takes us all along the, this river until we get to just about Bangor. So, beautiful. All right, now we're leaving International. This guy's leading right here. <laughs> All right, Kevy Poo, our fearless leader. <laughs> All right, we're leaving International. And I know, and we're off to something harbor not necessarily bar harbor because the rumor has it you have to pay $45 to ride through the bar harbor Arcadia National Park we're driving through Bangor Maine or Bangor however way you want to pronounce it see you later Bangor Pretty here. Like my whole body just hurts from sitting in this seat. My back, my butt, my elbows hurt. Like how does my elbows hurt? <laughs> the things people don't talk about on a motorcycle is how much pain it causes. It causes a lot of pain. It does.
painful. But it's worth it. No pain, no gain. Oh, the U.S. Coasties. What's up, boys? Girls? Coast Guard brat right here. I would rather eat my boogers than eat Subway. You see this? It's serious. <laughs> I like Bass Harbor. Bring it. It's more of a local thing. Oh, I think I see it. I think I see it. Ooh. You've done that a couple times. Thank you so much. What? <laughs> Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> we just had lunch at the catch, which was really, really very delicious in Bass Harbor. Recommend it. Really, really good seafood. That was cool. That's a big boat ran by several people. Wow, what a vessel that was. Welcome to Banger! Beautiful city on the water. Look at that horizon. Something else. Holy sleepy, sleepy hollow. You jump in there, I triple dog dare you. You don't need no bathing suit, just go in your panties. Oh, it's so pretty. Wow. There's something about like rivers with like chunks of like mountain in it. <laughs> mountain chunks. Oh, blinded by the light. Alright, we are going over a wire bridge. Bicycles must be walked across the bridge. But you can ride your motorcycle. <laughs> status. Ooh, one lane bridge. Here we go. Here we go. <gasps> Let's Oh, this looks exciting. <laughs> According to Kevy Poo up there, we rode through Katie's crotch and we just rode over the wire bridge, which is two hits on the ride that they're doing tomorrow, which I don't know if I'm doing because I'm tired. Been riding for three days straight. I'm tired. Look at this sunset. Woo! Nothing better than a sunset on a motorcycle. Nothing better. Beauty, eh? You missed it all. You missed it all. Little tail shaking. <laughs> oh, Canada. Okay. You ready? You sure? How do you get on this thing? I'm stepping. Nope, we're not doing it that way. I don't feel comfortable. Where's the... Oh my god. This is awesome. Day three. Here we go. I am riding on the back of the Goldwing. Uh, decided to take a break. Let's row. Nice job, good emote. Now remember, you have precious cargo today. Today we met up with some good friends of ours that were also Blue Knights and we decided to take a ride up to the border of Canada. It was only about 30... Five miles from where we were staying but the cool part about it is that I rode on the back of the Goldwing for the first time to take a break and I got to video uh, without having to ride a motorcycle as well so it was pretty fun sitting on the back doing something I enjoyed doing and capturing this really amazing moment.
Sugarloaf Ski Resort. Ken, you shouldn't leave your bike unattended. I got my booty on it. <laughs> oh, I just dried it off for you. <laughs> it's all wet. You're on Sharon's camera. <laughs> Cheese. Cheese. Me and Mr. Bear. How's it going, Mr. Bear? Don't look at me like that. All right, we're going up to the Widowmaker. It's about time you get your sorry butt here. Listen, you. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Show thing. We're, we're in. We're in. We just, we'll we just need mine. You'll get him to play everybody. Well, it's the last and final day of the Blue Knights 50th anniversary. We are uh, in Sugarloaf, Maine, heading home. It'll take about maybe 12 hours to get home with stops. Um, so we have a very long ride today. Um, so many people are leaving today, going many different ways, going to different countries and heading out. And so um, I wish everybody the best hopefully everybody's home safe by the time these videos come out but it was really really awesome meeting so many people from all over the world and having such a killer time and <clears throat> riding motorcycles through Maine it's always a special thing to me to see Maine on a motorcycle and today's ride is going to be no different I think it's going to be a beautiful one so come along for the ride and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it all right The ride home is always the longest, I think because we spend it reminiscing about what just took place. I found myself lost in my thoughts of how this club even started and where it is today. Where would we be today if Ed Gallant, Chuck Schumann and their friends didn't create this club? Would we even have a convention to go to? Or ride to places like Maine? Or travel overseas? These gentlemen not only created a motorcycle club, but they have brought so many people from all over the world together through bikes and badges. I question myself all the time. How am I even involved? As I am not and have never been a law enforcement officer. As an honorary member, what is my role and how can I continue to support this club and those who have served and are still serving? Sometimes I feel disconnected because I don't share the same experiences and I have no idea what it's like to question will I make it home tonight? I will say this, no one has ever made me feel less than, and I continue to be received with open arms. My role is to open my arms as well, and to receive you and to protect you as best I can. In the meantime though, let's just continue to ride and connect and give the gift of friendship. We're the Blue Knights. We are the Blue Knights. And until we ride again, Pride with pride.